Protoss coward. Tassadar cannot evade my wrath forever. I shall find him and cut it. Salas is dead. Oh? It is a pity that Cerebrates cannot truly be killed. I expect that the Overmind will reincarnate him soon. No, he will not. The Protoss have devised some new attack. An attack powerful enough to nullify our reincarnation and give pause to the Overmind itself. So, Tassadar's plan was merely a diversion. I should not have underestimated him so. Without its master, Zaz's food has run amok and even now threatens the Hive Cluster. Seragret, you must eradicate the rampaging brood and stem any further damage it might cause. I shall deal with the Protoss myself. Well, we got played. Rather, Kerrigan got played. Kept her distracted while Protoss did something to permakill Saws. Whatever that was. New profile, Defiler. Venomous specialist unit can use Dark Swarm and be upgraded to use Consume and Plague. Ah, Plague, 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 You might have heard of that uh, famous sound clip from a uh, StarCraft 1 match in Korea. Defilers are basically a casting unit. They're really good. Uh, one of the things that are super good with them, if they cast Dark Swarm, uh, under that area, no range attacks have any sort of effect. So, combination of like a massive zergling group or melee units just like that and dark swarm is really strong um plague is also super strong it basically just like kills things all right we have a a little troop like this it is going to be some zerg on zerg action if only we didn't have to kill we could just take it over but we can't Oh, we lost the Hydralisk. Luckily, th this means there's already creep for us. Oh, how annoying. It can't exactly be there. This thing's gonna hatch. And the uh, Mutalisk, okay. Zerg on Zerg action, and we're starting here. Sadly, the positioning here is a little bit annoying, because that would be perfect to be, but it's just one too close, and then we can't be there, so we have to, like, back up a step. That'll do fine, honestly. We're gonna start with the necessities, while there's still creep around. No, we can't, actually. We have to build a creep colony here. To make sure it expands a bit. Oh, and now the rest is going away. It'll spread a bit more. We'll be fine. So yeah, a good old ZVZ. Remember what uh, Dagoth said in the beginning? Never use a drone, your last drone, to build a building. Because then you have no drones left. You need to make sure you have drones to build hatcheries. Ripping pizzas. Come on, man. Just sort of chilling here for a bit. Eradicate every last remnant. I think we literally need to kill every unit as well. <laughs> so this is a hunt and kill map, you know? And so, we slowly start the beginning. 
See, I'd love to be able to do more. The, what they did well in StarCraft 2 is that you either started kind of already with a fully functional base, or you had something interesting to do while you were waiting for your base to kind of build up. In StarCraft 1, there's just mostly, there's no bonus objectives usually or anything. There's just like, oh yeah, there's this map and there's a bunch of bases around. So you can't really afford just like walk around a bunch of dudes to explore because then you like find another base and start fighting and that's not what you want to do. So you start a too early fight and then that like, brings aggro from them and yeah. So mostly you just sit here and wait. While you build. Actually Vespin guy, I don't quite need Vespin that much just yet so I'll go for this first. How many do we have? One, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So we're on maybe like twenty worker ish here combined for the the ones in the uh, Vespin extractor. So we're just gonna build some drones at the beginning mostly. Sit here and chill while we're waiting for the drones. Enjoy the music at least. Zerg music is really good. One of the I, I don't know. Blizzard has always been really solid with music. In an RTS game like this, it's just important to have something kind of hyping up in the background. And there is such a different feel from the three races. Taran has this whole like southern space rock thing going on. Like almost like space rock country with a little bit of oh dear. Don't you dare kill my drones. Just like they mostly went for my building, thankfully. Oh, they did kill some of my drones! What assholes! Right, let's put another hatchery. Speed this up a bit. Sorg has this, like, sort of insidious... Like, almost like a wailing... Like, almost like elect electronica feel to it. Not, like, less melodic, and more, like, dark. But Protoss has a more, like, sprawling, space opera, melodic, like, almost like mournful style to it. It's good. It's good. Drone production is starting up a little bit there. Let's move some dudes into SB just because. We'll need some overlords soon. Okay, that's two. That'll speed things up a bit. Set worker rally point. Set rally point. A really nice that that separate thing. That's part of what makes it nicer to play this in Starcraft 2 rather than Starcraft 1. Okay, I think that's enough drones for now. We need some uh, overlords. so we can actually build everything else. We are running kind of out of space here. We'll build some like down here. I want to have an illusion chamber as well. But that does mean we need a few more drones. Overlords are ink, don't worry.
The evolution in Bros finishes really quickly, it's nice. Um I wonder if we just go straight up Mutalis as well for this one. It works pretty well, honestly. I think that might be the the best call. Might be worth getting here I just done anyway though. Up against a, an additional Zerg Force, like we're gonna run into a lot of Hydras. I think we're gonna need a mix this time, a mix of units. So, are they there? Upgraded Zergling, it looks like. Alright, that's alright. Still another hatch. I think. Or maybe wait until we find an expansion? Maybe. Let's put some Hydralisks and let's get some upgrades on the go. They are needed. I think, let's see if we can start finding some some possible expansions because we're going to need it. Possible timing. No, 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 no. Don't kill my drones. Don't kill my drones. Oh, they are ripping apart my drones. Oh, there's like nine drones there. They're so fast. Like, fully upgraded circuits just run in and just destroy so quickly. Where are they coming from? Damn it. Okay, there goes even more drones. Where are they coming from? I have one ground power, I guess, up there. Look at that, those sneaky little bastards. There is an egg. If we can take this, there is like an expansion. But it'll be tough. So we are running out of units. No, 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 no. God damn it. Drones attack. Oh, there's too many of them. Alright, they, they fought back. You fought back bravely, drones. I, 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 I believe in you. You did well. Oh my god, give attacks from every side. Look at this. They never, they'll never stop killing my drones. Where are you coming from? Where is your base? They are almost always coming from the right. Oh god, an ultralisk! Jeez. Garm had some advanced, I mean, Sauce had some advanced stuff in his brood. 
Where are you? They sneak in from somewhere, I swear to God. Oh my god, of course now they come from the other side as soon as I leave! Oh god, I'm being wrecked. There's so many of them, what the hell? Holy shit, I'm dead! I'm just dead! Just dead! <laughs> Did I go too much? If I, 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 yeah, I'm just wrecked. I'm just wrecked right now. Might be worth dropping this one down to easy, honestly. Um, or just playing super defensively in the beginning, but there's so much of them. Alright, let's restart this. Or rather, um... Well, if we just die, I think, like, eventually, like, well, we're, we're permadead now, basically. We got constantly attacked from two sides here. We can restart and then change the... If we go back to the briefing, we can change it down to a lower difficulty, I think. I'll retry medium again, but damn, that felt that felt rough. That felt rough. How have we not died yet? I guess as long as we have a little drone left. Is it just waiting for me to have no units left? I could just quit, obviously, but I'm kind of curious. Let's see what it takes. Does it have no defeat trigger in the in the mission code? Surely now. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Literally everything needed to be gone. Restart mission. Let's change to easy. And let's sort out a decent defense early on, I guess. The problem with mutilists in your attack force is they always go first. And they always take the brunt of the hits. But it's usually not what you want. The range isn't great and they fly fast, so they always end up early in the beginning. try to build base defense, I guess. Or just lots of dudes early. Now, how about we just build two hatcheries immediately? Three? Is three too many? We can't afford three anyway. So that's definitely too many. I don't know why I bother getting the nodes. It's a bit of a waste, but whatever. Totally not disgusting, by the way. <laughs> Little pulsating tumor with some sort of beast inside. Zerg. Zerg's the best. Zerg's the best. They're not actually the best, but, you know. They're, uh. pretty good at being disgusting.
A real question is, in the last mission, did I, like, activate their aggression by moving into their territory? Or, or is there just, are they just, like, always aggressive in that regard? It's hard to tell, I suppose. Until you know, like, if they're programmed in any particular way. Or coded, you know. The fact that we kept getting, like, gorilla attacked, uh, my mineral line, my worker group, kept being assaulted. Not good. We'll, um... Play defensively. See, this is the thing. Normally, I don't. I I just get bored sitting here and building up the base, but it's necessary. You need like a solid group already good to go, and part of what makes it so tempting to build mutalisks is because they fly so quickly. So even if you're out exploring, killing other things, you can return without too much of a hassle. Because they fly so fast. Yeah, build one there, and they're even preferring to go to... No, no, they're preferring to go to that one, okay. We're gonna need a Overlord real soon. drones alone. At least I was kind of ready for it this time. Overlord should be run. There we go. Okay. Workers should be alright now. So let's start building other stuff. I don't know why there's an S on that. That isn't normally there. Spawning pool. Is this another infinite one? No, it isn't. Only that one was. In that mission. Which is interesting. Ah, the defiler map. Spalling pool's complete. I'm going to build a hydrolysis then and upgrade to a lair. Eventually begin working on the Mutalisk army that we need. Another hatchery, I think. Although this is a dangerous hatchery because it keeps getting attacked <laughs> from this area. Do we bother upgrading the circlings? I mean, they are really good. I think it depends on if we can get another expansion. Have the lair, let's build the spires. I don't know if we need two this time, we might not, but let's do it anyway. So, faster upgrading mostly. 
maybe actually overdoing it. Yeah, let's, it's overdoing it. Let's not worry about it. Guardians are nice, but we don't have to go crazy with them. Let's build some Hydralisks. Let's upgrade Hydralisks in the Evo Chamber. As well as their range. I do intend to, again, keep a mix. I feel like I have to. Fairly sizable force. Assume we can build Mutilus as well. Build a bunch. Like nine. Or, well, this amount is what we'll build. And then we'll get the uh, flyer upgrade. Already you can see we've been attacked a lot less, uh, which is either because we didn't explore or because it's on medium. Uh, easy. I think it's because we picked it on easy now. Now the question is how much we can leave behind. Ideally we want to leave behind. Oh, here we go. Here comes first attack. Or second, rather. It's the speed upgrade. No, that's not still coming. I do want Zerglings too, so I'm gonna have to go for those as well. Alright, let's see. We have a sizable army. They time it, they t I swear to god they time it. You can see how quickly this hatcher is going to go down as well with the Zerglings once they're on it. They timed it exactly when I left. Jesus, that went low quickly. Everything's kind of upgrading right now, right? We'll be taking over this expansion though, that'll save us some time. Oh my god, stop it! Alright, having this expansion should help a lot. into the Ultralisk soon, if there is one. And that one is going to hurt the Zerglings quite badly. Yeah, there it is. But we heard it pretty well, too. Oh, the Lord Zucub is down there in the distance. Build a bunch of more drones now, because we're going to need it for the new expansion. Attacks, armor, armor for now. A bunch of you go here. I'm gonna get this set up as soon as we can. That should help a fair bit. Oh, hey, they still have overlords here. <laughs> Wait, let's not take the smart way around now. This is slowly regenerating. No, oh my goddamn drones! Nope. I sort of timed the return fairly well, but I lost a bunch there.
let's go check this area then, I suppose. Did I get... I need to get a hive. Well, we're gonna go get a hive then. Queen's nest. Ah, another hot pill. There's no way up there, is there? Nope. Char is always a bit of a pain in the ass with stuff like this. So remember, like, hit the missions here have a lot of that. Just in the end, why you go with the list so often? <laughs> Did the Queen's Nest get finished? Yes, it did. Then I have them. Our forces are under attack. Alright, there's something up there. We require more than speed. And there's obviously something here. It's this creep. Stay in range, everyone. We don't want to spread out too much here. They always do it anyway. What's going on, right? Oh, there's another expansion if need be as well. Hiding a little carrion nest there in the corner. That's what you need for defilers, I'm pretty sure. is done, right? Excellent. Ah, there we go, guys. Got it. Alright, we kind of walked into their main base, I feel. It's going alright, actually. What are you fighting? A sunken colony? It's not the best thing to spend your energy on, but we'll, we'll take it. Dude, what is this? Holy shit. Some big Sergi B thing. Damn, son. Group friends, remember. <laughs> Sir, these have so much armor that all of these together are doing so little damage to it. Because the way armor works in Soccer 1 is it's additive. Meaning if an attack does 5, or, and the armor is 4, you will only do 1 damage, you know? That adds up quickly when you're up against like smaller units. Like a group of marines don't do that much damage, but even if a whole bunch of them only does a little bit, they only do 1. And basically like that. How are we for... Upgrades getting a lot better now. Oh, leave, 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 leave. All right, let's try to wipe out the rest at this point. I don't even know if the Sergeants will be able to travel there. I think maybe they might. Oh, 
it's amazing how I end up playing the same with all three. Like, I just make fleets. Fleets are just so nice. And honestly, surgeons help out quite a lot anyway. Every last trace of this, as requested. Where are they hiding? All forces are under attack. There we go, we're done. Little circling, looking through the corpses. Oh dear. The very last bit of the Garm Brood. Destroyed. These feral Zerg can't be allowed to run amok. The culling complete. Our survival rate is going down a bit, but still decent KD. Not that it matters at all. 